Being featured in Stranger Things on Netflix, the Hellfire Club has recently stepped into the spotlight. But did you know the origins of the real Hellfire Club stretch back to 1700s England, where rituals, sacrifices, and even devil worship occurred here, in what is today known as the Hellfire Caves? Tonight, we'll venture alone into the caves to investigate the many haunted reports of this terrifying location. Creepkeepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight, Jared and I are investigating the Hellfire Caves. This is a place where allegedly satanic worship occurred and it is said to be one of the most haunted places in England. But before we head down there, we are starting in St. Lawrence's Churchyard. And the reason for this is this place here is exactly 90 meters above ground where we are going tonight. This place was built to signify heaven, but where we are going tonight signifies hell. So stay tuned. A dirty secret lies deep below West Wickham, England, a place known as the Hellfire Caves. A sprawling tunnel system, once the meeting place for a club who indulged in parties, perverted sex acts, rituals, sacrifices, and even satanic worship. So they originally dug out in 1748 to build the road between West Wickham and High Wickham. Nothing of the spooky or any stuff happened to much later in 1755 when the Hellfire Club was originated. It was made by Sir Francis Dashwood, the second Baron of High Wickham, and it was used as a gentleman's club. I like to describe it as very powerful people doing things that they didn't do in the public eye, which hasn't much changed to today, but it was used as drink, drugs, sex, all of what you could imagine would be done in sort of your modern day, I guess, nightclub, I suppose. A lot of darker stuff did happen. Satanism, sacrifice often came into play, but unfortunately, because one of the members, Paul Whitehead, he did burn all of the records when he died in 1774. We don't know much about what happened. They did have the largest collection known of um, written pornography at the time, but also said that they did have the largest connection, the collection of Satanists and sort of books. The mysterious past activities of the Hellfire Club seem to have left something behind in the caves, with many to enter witnessing strange and terrifying entities. The most common of these is a figure cloaked all in black, who some believe could be the devil himself. Others have seen children, a woman wearing white who met an unfortunate end to her life in the caves, or even a man in search of his stolen heart. They've seen unexplainable light anomalies, shadows, heard screams of pain, giggling, manacle laughter, babies crying, footsteps, and most commonly, evil growls. Others have even claimed to be touched or overcome with a dizzying sensation, especially while entering the deepest part of the Hellfire Caves, known as the Inner Temple. This spot was built to symbolize hell, lying directly beneath the church above it, and was where the Hellfire Club performed many of their secret and dark rituals. Tonight, we will explore the Hellfire Caves and reach out to the entities who continue to inhabit them, documenting the entire investigation onto video. I'm standing at the gates to hell. Well, the Hellfire Cave's close enough. <laughs> I'm so excited to investigate here. This is a place that has been on my bucket list forever. I've always wanted to come here. Already, I've done a bit of a walkthrough of the caves just for a tour. And I went through with um, some of the people that work here who are quite sensitive to spirits. And honestly, it was a little bit eerie and confronting going down there. I'm so excited to take you guys down there. And we're of course gonna do a ghost tube walkthrough and see what we pick up. I'm feeling it tonight. This is gonna be pretty wild. Yeah, it is really, really cool in there. Really cool. Are you game to go first? I better go first. <laughs> oh, it says welcome to Hellfire Caves. Oh, it works. Okay. New feature, everybody, coming soon. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Spirits don't want my new feature. <laughs> nice little welcoming to the caves. Cloaked figure just hanging out here. Don't they say that they see a cloaked figure? They do. Like down here. And they also think that the cloaked figure could be the devil himself, which, yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I see the hooded figure. I mentioned a lot of people think they see the devil wandering we, about. We opened the um, inner temple, mm -hmm. where, what, two months, three months ago? Longer well, than that? Beginning of the year. Beginning, sometime we opened the inner temple, it hadn't been open for 70 years. Mm -hmm. 
And the moment we unlocked it to the public and opened it, there was a dark figure walking around the triangle, mm -hmm. long black coat. We can physically see him on the cameras, mm -hmm. just walking around. And you, you can physically see him. People have seen him. Customers have seen I him. I see him. Know who he is. I see him a lot in my dreams as well, yeah. which is freaky. Um. Dude, it gets so cold so quick. We've only just made our way just into the caves and I'm freezing already. And I'm like, why did I not bring my coat? <laughs> I also have a bit of frost breath going on. This actually is where we interviewed our new friends, uh, Karen and Willow. They both work here. They've worked here for a while and it was just really, really in interesting to talk to them. They gave us a, a really good history of the place, but also things that they have experienced or you know, that has happened to Case. them or around them. Case. So we got Case. I'm going to go a bit further into the caves. I don't know what Case could be relevant to, but we do have a number of ghosts here. Uh, one, we have a lady in white known as Suki, but we also have a man known as Paul Whitehead who walks around here basically looking for his heart. Maybe Case could be in relation to him because his heart was encased in an urn. He was Dashwood's sort of second-hand man, his best friend, and they both enjoyed women, drinking, partying, but Paul Whitehead was a bit more stoic, so he was used as, I say, the, um, the steward. He um, signed people in during the night and sort of stayed up here and didn't go much down, but when he died, he left two things to Sir Francis Dashwood, 50 pound note, which is worth a lot more at this time, and his heart, because it was his best friend. A bit later on in the 1900s, his heart was used as a bit of a tourist attraction, a sort of twisted show and tell. And an Australian explorer came over and decided, didn't just want to see the heart, he wanted to have the heart. So he stole it for himself. No one has ever seen it since then. Yeah, ran off with it. But often people say they see him at the house on the estate. They see him here, sort of wandering about, looking aimlessly for his heart and often he's shouting or seeming to say, who has my heart, or something along those lines. And uh, stories say you have to respond, Paul, I do not have your heart, or he will take yours out of jest, almost. Oh, look, the white lady. You're actually right in front of the signs talking about Paul and the white lady right now. This place is legit haunted. I don't know, Paul, if you can hear me, you can hear my voice, maybe you recognize my accent, I have no idea. Jar and I are from Australia, but we are not Thieves, we do not have your heart. I am so sorry that it was an Australian that took your heart. Oh, it's kind of embarrassing, hey? Yeah. These are gonna be everywhere. <laughs> yeah, there's like these on like alcove bits with white mannequins and... Just little caves yeah. everywhere. There's actually a, ca a case back there, Ains, behind this guy. Oh, there is too. Dude. Jared, that is an urn as well, right next to him. Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> so we literally were right outside of... Where Paul's heart's case that is. That is crazy. Not his heart. I'm so sorry that you're still looking for your heart, Paul. I don't know if we can help you in that, but maybe we can help answer some questions for you tonight. If you want to try and communicate, please do. I did just hear something behind me. Little scratch noise. Do you tonight, if you want to try and communicate, please do. Do you tonight, if you want to try and communicate, please do. Should we each go our separate ways and meet up? I think they do meet up, yeah. They do. Oh, check out this, guys. See these faces here? You'll see them all over the caves throughout the night. There's even one that is symbolic of the devil, of course, fitting to the Hellfire Caves, right? So if I go this way, will I meet you? Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to go this way. See you on the other side. Well, just so you know, I don't actually have a light. I literally just have night vision. You'll be right. <laughs> Screw you, man. Right. All right, this is pitch black. It's only a little circle. Oh, only a little circle. This is very nightmarish. Just so you guys know, I cannot see anything. Oh, see, that wasn't so bad. For you, with the light? Oh my God. That wasn't so bad. It was like five <laughs> meters. Dying. Okay, so my name is Amy and I'm here tonight with Jared. We've come a long way to visit you. We don't mean anyone any harm or disrespect in any way. Remorse. 
can I have a name please? Thank you so much if you're open to communicating with us. We appreciate that. Dark and dirty deeds happened down here. Maybe they're showing remorse for what they did. I mean, did you hear that? Like a little growl or something? I heard a growl or a grunt. Yeah. I think I, it, down, I thought it was down this way. I thought it was behind me, but the walls, you know, they're all echoey. That's really weird. We were hearing lots of noises earlier during a tour with our guides as well. In this moment, both Jared and I heard a distant growl or grunting noise. This is something that is common within the Hellfire Caves. Unfortunately, we did not capture this noise onto our audio. We did, however, hear and actually capture similar noises during our walkthrough orientation of the caves earlier that night. Check it out. hear a growl when we did the tour today um, and that was sort of right near me. I also heard a scream and laughter at some point but I definitely heard a growl and I reckon it was down this stretch here. I'm getting cold chills up my spine just thinking about it. If there's someone here growling at us you need to come up a bit closer. You can touch us, you can push us, you can growl right in my ear. That would be actually quite good. <laughs> Don't be shy. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> what? I don't know. You know, that's so weird though, because people laugh down here. I don't know what was funny, I just... I don't know. Now breaking I'm just laughing. Out. Now I'm just laughing because I was laughing, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know what was funny. People break into fits of laughter down here. They don't know why, maybe it's, you know, they have an imp down here. They talk about this imp quite often. I was sending pictures to a friend who does um, some paranormal stuff for us and he went what is that in the top corner he said you haven't got lights just there he said what is that so we kept seeing um, lights um, in one of the alcoves so lights go on and then shut off and go on and it was an imp and basically this imp was going like that and it was the imp's eyes coming round, looking over the wall and then jumping back in. Imp attached your mum, didn't yeah. and made your mum laugh for ages and it I had was to take your mum out of the situation. My first ever tour I did and she out of nowhere just, when I say you're giggling, like I say you're in a class and your teacher tells you not to laugh and you, she just would not stop laughing. Just awful, like and I literally had to take her away. Because I, could, I could see sort of this not figure but this thing sort of almost like sat on her shoulders and you said you did as well yeah. it's she doesn't believe anything until she came up here a couple of times and she was like okay that's weird is there anyone down here can you give us a sign so a couple of old club members here i guess do you want to play oh yeah we do, that's what we come here for. Actually, don't they say that there's kids down here as well? Yep. But also an imp, which is like a small entity that can be quite mischievous. Sort of like a jester or something? Well, we did have an incident with a jester, but that was not the imp, that was something else. That was a little bit deeper in the caves, which I'll probably tell you about when we get there. That was, to me, kind of, it was kind of cool to see, but also I was just a little bit concerned um, <laughs> at that point, but. Stroke. That's weird. Weird. Okay, so we were just talking about stroke earlier because I just released an episode on my channel um, at the Viaduct Tavern in London. If you haven't watched it, definitely go check it out. But Jared said to me, imagine if we get the word stroke while we're down in the Hellfire Caves tonight because obviously they had, you know, uh, 
some explicit entertainment down here, things like orgies and sex parties, literally. And Jared said, I wonder if ghost people say stroke again down there. It just said stroke. We always get either stroke or aroused when we're at places like this that have like a, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> play or play with me, I always get that. Always, like everywhere we go. And I was just talking to my patrons and YouTube members about it the other day because it just keeps coming up for me. It's so weird. Yeah. <gasps> And guys, this I really wanted to show you. This is the devil face. You can clearly see the horn here. You can also kind of see how it used to be painted red, but these faces are all throughout the Hellfire Caves. This one literally is very devilish. And people say it depicts Satan. But what is more is right about here where I am standing. This is, and I'm getting chills again. <laughs> this is where a lot of people have sighted a figure wearing a black cloak. And people believe it is the devil himself. And this figure has been seen all through the caves. It's so, so common for people to come out and say, there's a dark figure wearing like a, a full on cloak down there. Oh, look, children. Told you there's children down here. Oh. I need to go. Where do you need to go? Just as you were talking about the children. So we had do you want to play and then I need to go? You don't have to go. We're not here to hurt you. We're heading down to the inner temple. You can join us if you like. So before we go any further, I also want to mention the spirit of Suki, who I brought up earlier, our woman in white. 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 What? She has been seen all throughout the caves, even up on, on top of the hill, up where we were earlier near the mausoleum and church. She has the most tragic story. I really, really feel for Suki. I don't know if you can it. So she has a bit of a, a long story. I'll shorten it as much as I can. But um, you obviously, if you've been in the village, you passed what was the Georgian Dragon pub. That has recently been shut down, unfortunately. She was a barmaid there, looked very similar to you and me. Very pretty young woman, said to be about my age, 18, 19, possibly early 20s. She's born into poverty. Um, she wanted she wanted to make it big in the world. And one day, we, we often in my tours, I call him Lord Brad Pitt, just to sort of, sort of accentuate how, how much of a big deal he was. But a lord from London came in and sort of said, you. I want to run away with you. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And she thought her life was about to change. Later on in the day, she received a letter telling her to come up to the caves and then he'll run away with her. So she got dressed in her mother's wedding dress, came up this evening, followed the voice that she heard of Lord Pitt, walked directly into the banqueting hall. She unfortunately did not find Lord Pitt, but three of the local village boys. And they sort of burst into fits of laughter, sort of saying, what on earth, you know, we, it was just us. We wrote the letter, we wanted to prank you. Out of anger, obviously she was completely distraught. She picked up some rocks off the floor, threw it at the boys, to which they grabbed more and a bigger rock, threw it at her, and it was said that she fell, her candle extinguished and her life with that. People think I'm her reincarnated. Our previous tour guide who was here before me, he was doing um, sort of a rundown of the tour with me and I told him how much I've seen her during my life from when I was a kid to now. And he just stopped dead in his tracks, went completely pale and said, you are her. And I said, she, cause she sees me and you in her. She was said to have sort of bit sort of between our length hair, very good complexion, quite pale young girl and she likes you because she sees sort of you in her. And I said that she doesn't like you because she thinks you're one of the boys that sort of, that killed her. She follows you around, she's, that's why we heard this, we heard screaming earlier, we heard crying, cause she's just distraught. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't want to leave, cause that's where she died, but she's lost, she's just distraught. She does very not know lost. what to do. She's very lost. Very lost right. spirit. She just, so I say she dances around, I say, cause if she's in her wedding dress, you see from the mannequin, that's why you sort of see, if you see a bit of white mist, that's her. And she is our most prolific ghost. People see her weekly. We get mentions of her up in the cafe. We get people saying that they've seen a white dress or something. And she, she just is ever present. She is yeah. such a spirit and yeah, people think I'm her. So it's, I don't like to say it first of all, cause people will be like, whoa. <laughs> 
I need to back up a bit. I just got a massive magnetic spike here. And that I couldn't replicate. People believe that spirits can um, manipulate electromagnetic fields and that's what that triggered to. Now, I think there is a water drip in here. So I'm just gonna say that those noises that we've been hearing Why are they like all around us? We were told to keep your mouth closed because that's water dripping from the graveyard above. This area though, this is the banquet hall. So this was where a lot of ceremonies and rituals were done by the Hellfire Club. I might put the phone just in the middle. Now Suki has been sighted in here, dancing around, although she has been sighted everywhere. Um, I was told earlier that she, she likes me. She seems um, to see something in me that sort of reminds her of herself. And Suki, if you are around, again, my name is Amy. This is Jared. Jared doesn't mean you any harm. If he resembles or reminds you of one of the guys who tricked you many, many years ago, he is not like that at all. We've just come here to talk. I would love to make friends. Maybe there's other spirits here. Didn't our guides say that they, they felt or saw Suki dancing on the tables or around these tables as well? Yeah, Suki on these tables just here. So see these marks here as well, guys? Like apparently this was like some of the members like, I don't know, like keeping count of their sex capades. It's the best way to describe that. Basically these alcoves are, yeah, uh, representing different pagan gods that were worshipped down here. And in the 1700s, you know, worshipping any god outside of like the church was a bit of a no-no. And that's why they thought that so many dark deeds went on down here. But honestly, they did, you know, they were known for having orgies down here. They would uh, bring women who were working in prostitution down here. And apparently, yeah, these alcoves here just had a curtain and a bed, so. It's kind of um, weird to think about what could have happened down here in this room. Isn't this like also like the world's biggest salt cave? I'm not sure if that's the word for it. Holds the world record for being the biggest um, man-made, like hand-carved out um, chalk and flint cave. So it is quite an impressive place. Yeah, that ceiling just goes really high. So Jared is about to cross the threshold. So beyond this point, only like the high members of the Hellfire Cave were allowed to enter, of the Hellfire Club, sorry, were allowed to enter. So. Which, which was like 12 people. So no one was allowed past this point. And you can still see like where the door hinges for the big door would have been here. So apparently a really big dark figure is seen here a lot. And people believe it's sort of like a protector, like a gatekeeper for this area. You go past Banqueting Hall, that was where only the members of the 12 disciples as such as the Hellfire Club went down and sort of this figure is seen sort of six foot plus stood just guarding that door. Doesn't say anything, doesn't look at anyone, doesn't interact, just stands there. And that's often why you feel when you walk past there, you feel just like that like overwhelming emotion going on. And he was one of the first spirits I saw down here when I had my school leavers party back in 2014. <laughs> I, I was, you know, plucked up the courage, I went down, and as soon as I sort of saw this figure, one of the parents captured it, I ran back up and refused to go down. And that's actually how I met all the staff here back in how many years ago. Earlier, we were walking through this doorway. I had mad pins and needles all over my legs. It was like some weird energy about crossing this threshold here down into the secret Hellfire Club area where only they were supposed to go and were allowed to go and only the 12 most important people of the Hellfire Club would go past this point. And now us. I, 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 <laughs> and you will feel the moment you step over that threshold. I already feel a bit tingly, like a little yeah. bit like yeah. uh, pins and needly. Yep. In my legs, like pins and needly going into the Hellfire only section. 
When we went through Karen, uh, one of our guides, she does not like going down there. She very rarely ventures as far as she does, did with us into the caves. Reason being is because she often gets sort of taken over by an entity down here. And that's exactly what happened when we went down there with her. Are we allowed to enter? Do we have your permission? This might sound rude, but I, f I feel like I don't need permission. I'm going to come in. It's very presumptuous of you, Ames. I know, a bit daring tonight. I don't mean any disrespect. In this moment, a woman's voice is captured as I make my way into the most secret of the Hellfire Club's areas. Despite having four different audio tracks rolling, this voice was only registered onto my own microphone attached to my body. Could this have been some kind of warning? Leave me a comment below. It's very presumptuous. It's very... It's very... Positive. Positive. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm allowed to come in. So they hear you then, Ames? Yep, okay, good. We have reached the triangle though. This again splits off either way. Um, past the banqueting hall as we descend into the inner temple. And should we split up again? Or that means I have to go away in the dark. You go that way. Which one's steeper? Get out. <laughs> so this is the triangle. Wow, I can't see a thing. What the heck? This is really f***ing scary by yourself. Is there somebody else with me? Oh, guys, it is pitch black in here. Check it out. Ooh, something just dripped on me. How far does this go? Oh my god. I didn't realise. Jared? Yeah? Where are you? I'm coming. I'm close. Oh my god. Alright, if you're close, you need to Turn give me... Off. You need to give me a sign. What do you want me to turn off? Jared? Yeah? I'm freaking out. What's going on? I just said, is there somebody here with me? And it said, I'm close. And then it said, turn it off. Is it talking about ghost troop? I don't know. And then I just heard something behind me. Can you throw a rock at me or something? Hang on, I'm coming. That was really, really creepy. I've heard a noise come from this tunnel and that tunnel behind me. Okay, I'm sorry to say, but we're not gonna turn this off. That was weird, I'm creeped out. All right, we're gonna cross the river Styx. Come with us. I'm getting like instant headache. Just on the left side of my temple and my head. I just need to put this, hopefully that doesn't fall, like just here. Like sharp pain in my head. Okay, so we're in an area, we've got a mannequin here that represents Suki. And we did spend a bit of time down here with Karen and Karen you could tell like she had a bit of pent up anxiety about going any further and crossing the river Styx, which I'll talk to in just a moment. But we stopped here and there was an entity that was sort of taking over her and communicating with us. Um, I've got to show you the footage because it was really peculiar. Okay, and now the laughing is in my head. Okay. He knows I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Ready? Right. One, two, three, four. Feet gone. Mm -hmm. 
สวัสดีYou're all right, Karen. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, 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 no, I'm fine. I'm going to. Okay, Karen's been hearing laughter in her head and feeling a bit uneasy coming down here, right? Yeah, yeah. So, if you need a breather or anything, that's okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm fine. Honestly, I'm, yeah, it's just I have to because I don't come down here. Um, it's like in my stomach and it's in my legs, and it, it's like um, I can't explain how it feels. Um, it just like, oh, it, I don't know. It feels like when you get out of bed first thing in the morning and you can't use your legs. Mm -hmm. You look all young, you probably don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it, it's just bizarre. It's like, so I've just been pushed against the wall. I don't know if you can see how close I am against the wall. So I've just been pushed like poof against the wall because my guardian's saying, what are you doing down here, Karen? You know what's going to happen when you go further. Um, but it's just a bizarre feeling. But at the moment, I'm still in control. In a minute, I don't think I will be. <laughs> yeah, he just spoke to me. So, voice in my head just said, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you? As in, I'm coming for me. As in, like, that's your guardian no, to help or a, somebody else? There's a voice there? in, in my head yes. that when I come down to here, um, that takes half of me over it's like um 75 percent of me over and it's it's like i can i can see this blind going like this and he just laughs but it's a uh, really overwhelming because i haven't been down there for so long because i don't i don't come down here i think if you was to answer me ask me a question i don't think i would answer can we have the name of the person here with us, please? No, it's a secret. Were you part of the hellfire? Sort of. You're a friend? No. He's just laughing. Can you tell us what's funny? Everything. Like us coming down just, here is humorous? Just, he's just saying everything. Why do you pick on Karen? Because I like her. I like her. I think her. that makes a change. <laughs> I like her like too. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't mean her any harm? No, no. Good, just good. Just the opposite, just the opposite. She's, she gets my word out. Is, it, is there a message that you have for us? I can't make it out, I can't. Jester. Jester? Yeah, Jester. Well, we're here all night tonight and we would love to communicate. My name is Amy mm -hmm. and this is Jared here. So we're new to the, the caves down here. Mm -hmm. And if you're a, a bit of a Jester, we love to have fun. We love to have a good time. I can see, what I can see now is like somebody with a big um, funny hat on, like an old fashioned. Yeah, like a Pied Piper Jester hat. Yeah. yeah. That's what I can see now, because it comes and goes in my head. Yeah. Like I said, I'm still here, but it's just really weird. I say we just keep going further down to the river. If there is somebody here, someone around, especially if you're a jester and you like to play around, you like to mess around, we're all about that. We love that. Come with us. See you, Suki. I hope you don't mind me being here. Apparently she doesn't really like men because well, of her story and what happened. I don't blame her. I don't blame you, girl. Pleasure. Pleasure. That's not a good look. I think I just heard pleasure and then I screwed up my lip like, just ew. Like, all the dudes down here doing what they did, you know? It's kind of like a gross fort. Also, my head, this light is not good. Like, you go first, because I've got a splitting headache. Just get another uh, magnetic spike there. Okay, hang on. Let me just back up a little. Now, if there's somebody around me, can you give me a word, maybe your name? There could be something here. Maybe like wiring or something. Let me try one more time. Or maybe there's somebody around me because it hasn't gone off that time. If you're able to communicate with us or, or try, 
We would appreciate that so much. <gasps> that I was behind heard, you. No, I heard it behind no, you. No, that was behind you. I can't tell because it's so echoey down here. I heard it sounded like a movement, like a footstep or something. I swear it was behind you. Yeah, it was definitely movement. Well, well, it's... I thought it was down that way. To me, it sounded like someone shuffling a box or a piece of furniture or something like, you know, like furniture moving something. Furniture moving down here is common. Guardian. Okay, Guardian is super relevant. Uh, earlier we came down with um, Karen and Willow and Karen said that she had a Guardian with her, someone that sort of looks out for her and protects her and was around her because they knew she was coming down to this area which she doesn't generally come to because it's a bit weird for her. There's also the Guardian that sort of guards this area because this was the area where the, um, only the Hellfire Club could come down to. So could it be referring to Karen's guardian or could it be referring to the guardian that guards these areas? I'm not sure. Uh, we need more information and I really hope that it's okay that we're coming down here. I know not a lot of teams have investigated the inner temple and that is where we are coming. Are we at the river yet? Yeah, just the river. Oh my gosh. Okay, so also we just reached the river Styx as this is known. This is like an underground um, body of water that the Hellfire Club used to have a little like gondola to cross this bridge into the inner temple which is the final room here down underground and in Greek mythology this was like the end of the line so you would cross the river Styx to head from the what the heck was that in the river no that came from inside the temple oh my god head from the head from the head from the anyway you would cross the river Styx to go from the mortal world into hell and meet Hades oh great we'll have a cup of tea with Hades then shall we <laughs> So if there was any movement coming from this end, it had to have been from in here because this is the end. This is the inner temple. This is where the Hellfire Club would meet and do their secret meetings. Nobody actually knows what happened during these secret meetings or, or during that because they destroyed the records, they burnt them. So this is such a mystery to be here, but they do say things, you know, they could have been some dark sexual deeds that happened in here. Was that water? I yeah. Don't know. Okay. There is some water dripping here, guys. Didn't they say there was like some sacri rumoured to be sacrificial sort of rituals and things that happened down here too? Supposedly. Definitely could have been sacrifices down here. Now there is one story that happened between a man named John Wilkes and the Earl of Sandwich, two members of the Hellfire down here. Allegedly, one, one time they were down here, they were meeting. Earl of Sandwich was trying to summon the devil, right? And during this, John Wilkes opened a box that he had snuck in down here that contained a baboon who was wearing a little devil costume. This baboon literally attacked the Earl of Sandwich and it scared him to death because he just assumed in the commotion of this all that it was actually the devil. So you must think, oh, they were definitely messing around with that stuff down here for him that to come to his mind. And allegedly when he, it happened, he was yelling out, oh God, oh God, please save me God, along those lines. So he's down here trying to summon the devil and when something that he perceives to be in line with that, he cries out to God for help. I don't mean to poke fun, but is his name the Earl of Sandwich? Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess he was the Earl of Sandwich, but I, that wasn't his actual like name name. I think it was, what was it, John or something? I can't remember, but yeah. Can I just say there are like, there is dripping water in here, but while you were talking, I don't want to interrupt, but I had thought I heard movement in this corner and that's really weird because when we came down here with our guides, they felt a presence in this corner while we were down here. There is someone in here with us, I'm gonna let you know. It's not Suki, I don't know if you can feel that, Karen. Mm -hmm. But, 
yeah, he stood against the table. That's why I wanted to move away from it. This part, this temple's <gasps> love. Is that what happened in here? We've had like stroke, pleasure, love. We're getting real, like I don't want to say. Sexy words. Yeah, sexy words. Like we've been getting a lot of sexy words in this whole cave system, not just in this room, which I think is kind of bizarre. Honestly though, like all of those words might not be sexy words, but is it just our brain pairing them to be sexy because of the setting that we're in, you know what I mean? Another interesting thing about this room, this room is um, known as hell. So it was built just below the church that we started our investigation at. So just above us is St. Lawrence's Church. 90 metres below the ground is where we're standing now. And that was to symbolise heaven and hell. And where are we standing, Jared? Hell. Can you move, on, move up to this device on this table? You might be able to make it make a noise or a word. You might have been doing it already, actually. Let us know that you're here or to give us a message. Can you tell us what used to happen in this room? Doom, what? That is really creepy. Doom? Okay. Are we doomed? Is that the kind of thing that you're trying to make happen here? That is so weird. I've got chills all over my body now. Doom, are you kidding me? We are in hell and it's like doom. I heard that, did you hear that? Yeah, that was definitely out there. That's the movement I heard before. So it maybe it did come from out here. Can you tell us what made that noise? After spending so much time becoming familiar with the cave system, Jared and I made our way back to our base camp to regroup and then try some other experiments. During the walk back, we received some interesting communication and moments. How's your headache? Oh yeah, my headache's gone. Really? Yeah, it's and weird. I'd forgotten about it. I'd totally forgotten about it. It's weird because I feel like I've got one now. <laughs> Is it all the exercise, Jared? <laughs> it might be, actually. Whew, I'm out of breath. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hand. I just got a magnetic spike here. Do you want to play? We had that before. Yeah, we want to. I feel like it was in this spot, too. Really? Yeah. Around here, Wait, yeah. where are we? We do want to play. I just had a magnetic spike. Yeah, I, I can't heard it. I can't replicate it. So that is weird. We had magnetic spike paired with a word, well, with a phrase, do you want to play? This face creeps me out I was as well. just thinking that same thing. <laughs> oh, it's got a cross on his it head does. too. Yeah. I have just set up a SLS camera that is down in the banquet hall. That's because, oh, hello. Thank you so much if you're touching that ball. I've got three balls down here you can touch and play with, light them up. And if you go towards that red light, that'll show us that you're here as well. So in SLS, I go to SLS camera, monitoring the banquet hall. That is where earlier Suki was seen. Um, there has been other activity to occur in that area as well, including like a mischievous imp creature. So if we get a little itty bitty figure on that, I'm gonna be so excited, you have no idea. Jared and I thought that we would sort of hang around the area where we had some ghost tube responses that implied childlike behavior. There has been kids um, to do things down here, particularly one that is less known within the paranormal. Uh, her, her name is Martha. She's a little bit uh, cheeky. She's a little prankster. So in this area, we had on two separate occasions something to do with play, like play with me, do you want to play? And so we've brought out some lovely balls for you. If you do want to play, you just need to go up to them, just touch them a little bit and they'll light up the prettiest colours. I am getting cold chills on my legs. Probably like from my left calf down, I would say is quite cold, which is 
a very localized area of my leg. So let's play a little game. I'm gonna ask you a question. If you can just come close to the lights in my hand and answer me very loud, maybe I can hear you. I'm gonna tell you that my favorite color is yellow. Can you tell me what your favorite color is? I'm gonna tell you that my name is Amy. Can you tell me what your name is? I'm gonna start singing. Maybe you know this song too and maybe you can finish it for me. A ring, a ring, a rosy, a pocket full of... Okay, I'm gonna cut this. and I'm also gonna recommend that we just walk a little bit further down uh, to review this only because the bull lit up before and I was standing a bit further away from it. So maybe they're a bit, I don't know, apprehensive to come close to us. Are you kidding me? It lit up just as we walked away. And literally I was just getting the feeling that I was too close to it. Thank you. These bulls are here for you. You have have at it <laughs> have fun this moment was quite cool it seemed as though we may have had a shy spirit on our hands who only felt comfortable interacting from a distance despite reviewing the evp recording in this moment we did not pick up anything of interest maybe this was also attributed to a spirit who was too shy to speak to us however what we did capture during this time on our locked off ghost tube sls camera in the banquet hall was amazing. A figure appeared partway through the session, seeming to stand right in the doorway, which leads down to the inner temple, a place where only the original members of the Hellfire Club were allowed to enter. What adds to this is that we had earlier been told about a spirit, described as a guardian, who is often sighted in this area. Adding to this, we also had the word guardian come through the ghost tube app earlier after we passed this doorway. Could this have been mapping the spirit of a guardian-like protector? Or even another spirit, such as that as Suki, who had been sighted in the banquet hall hour was earlier that night leave a comment below we've ventured even deeper down into the hellfire caves now and i just feel like this is a place of a lot of energy earlier when we were standing here i got a sudden sharp headache it's gone now and it kind of dissipated pretty quickly without me even realizing um this was also the area where our guide karen earlier sort of was overcome by somebody who claim to be a bit of a jester. Um, so hopefully they are around and they wanna communicate. Now, I have heard things down here, growls, laughter in my own ears when we very first came down. Because of that, I've set up a ghost tube SLS that is monitoring the hallway right beside me. I just feel like Suki might be around. And if you are, please don't be afraid to show yourself. Um, if you can walk down this hallway beside me towards my voice, I would love that. I would appreciate that so much. I do have a second camera down this hallway to my left that is leading towards the inner temple and monitoring the area where the river Styx runs. I've set up a REM pod and numerous cat bulls down there. Because a few little things are happening, I'm hitting record on Ghost Tube Vox right now. If anyone is around me, please come close to these lights in my hand. They're not going to hurt you. I want to hear your voice. I would love for you to say something to me. Maybe you remember what my name is. Maybe you can tell me your name. Can you tell me what used to happen down here? I thought I heard moaning or something before down here. Do you feel more comfortable in the dark? You can come out now. We're not scared of you. Party? Yeah, we're here for the party. Where can we find it? Arthur. Arthur? Is it all right that we're down here? I know typically people weren't down here unless they were part of the club, right? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're down here and I hope that is okay. Were you talking to the devil or doing dark things down here at one point? <gasps> the devil. Did you hear the devil? I just heard the devil. 
Okay, so you were doing things for the devil or trying to talk to the devil. Did the devil, did they ever do anything for you in response? Hide. 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 I'm not going to hide. I'm here in plain sight. Do what you will. Suki, are you around? I would love to talk to you. Suki, if you can hear my voice, I'm so sorry. I've heard your story and I just wanted to say I'm sorry for what happened to you. And I hope that one day you're able to find peace. I did hear a sound earlier that upset me a little bit because it sounded like somebody crying. And I just wanted to give you my condolences. Part of Suki's ghost story states that visitors to the caves can still hear her screams and even cries of torment. Sadly, this is something that I actually had heard during our initial tour of the caves and felt as though I should offer condolences for. Uh, Guys, alright? Yeah. Did anyone else we, hear that? Yeah, did you hear the scream? Yeah. 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 That's her. Were she's you rolling there. or? I was rolling, yeah. Yeah, she's, oh. she's here. Yeah, she's, that's why I wanted to stay in front of everyone. No, I heard that here. I heard a growl. Yeah, growls are most prevalent. Down if that way If you get hit by well. rocks, that's her. She's yeah. just, again, it all links to her story. We'll, I say if you want to do it, we'll tell you her story in a bit. But yeah, she, if you hear crying, screaming, whatever, that's her. That's why I wanted to stay in front of everyone. No, I, I know. heard that. That's why I wanted to stay in front of everyone because no, I know. Suki, she doesn't like men, does she? Suki, my name's Jared. How do you feel about me being down here? Is there a message you want to give to me, Suki? Lemon. Lemon? Lemon? What do you mean by the word lemon? I thought that said, come in here. Shall we go in there then? Do you want us to head this way? We're going to enter, is that okay? Just watch out. Capels in the middle. Okay. Can you tell us what used to happen down here? What secrets can you tell us? Can you tell us what used to go on down here? Yeah. Thank you. What can you tell us? What happened here? Can you tell us where we are right now? Do you hear a thud then? Yeah, there was a crack behind me, but... Can you tell us what made that noise? Use the energy from the river sticks to talk to us. Is that brother? Brother or mother? Brother would be relevant. They had many names because they weren't called the Hellfire Cave initially. And I think they were like the brothers of well, like the brother and so like. and so, like brotherhood, yeah. What were your parties like down here? Not public. Not public? Not public, yeah. How, how do you feel having a woman down here? Friend. friend? I heard a friend then. But... I mean, I they guess... wouldn't have had women down here unless they were doing the dirty. dirty things to them. Are we your friend? We're not afraid of you. Should we be? Bird. Bird? Don't tell me. Does it say bird? It did just say bird. <laughs> Do you know my deepest, darkest fears? <laughs> All right, I, again, my name is Amy. This is Jared. Would really love to know who we are talking to. Very nice. Very nice. I thought it said they're. Like... They're not. Are you human? What sort of a question is that? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Almost like church organs keep playing. We are right beneath the church, like right now. 
This is like the things that they were doing down here were a mockery to the church. Like part of what um, they would do was, yeah, mock the Catholic faith. Who is the person or the thing that many people have seen around here wearing the black cloak? What's up with that? I just heard a noise like just behind you right here. I know, there's literally so much going on right behind me. Yeah. They do not sound like drips. <laughs> that is like someone knocking on something. Cloak. What's up with that? Cloak. What's up with that? Who is the cloaked figure? <gasps> Was Benjamin Franklin ever here? What does that name mean to you? Okay, well, dogs. They do say they hear dogs down here. What happened to your club? I'm a bit uncomfortable <laughs> standing here with that noise. Okay. Witcher. Witcher. I just caught. And it was like, witcha. You always get called a witch. I know. As we were wrapping up this session, we received one final response that almost sounded like it called me a witch. Little did we know at this point in time that this response would become all the more relevant. It's so creepy down here. It really is. It is. Why are we standing here? I have a <laughs> feeling there's going to be a jarred can. I heard screaming then. We're rolling. That should have picked it up, hopefully. We're rolling audio here, here, yeah. and here. And here. That was odd. Anyway. I feel like it was behind us. Yeah, so do I, but there's only what, that one room there. That's really, really weird. This moment is extremely strange, and I do not have an explanation for it. Both Jared and I heard a blood-curdling scream come from behind us in the inner temple. This had to be the place it originated from, as it was the only room behind us. We almost seemed excited about this, as we had audio rolling on our camera, which should have picked up the scream we heard. Strangely, nothing registered onto audio at all. I get the feeling, though, what I was going to say is I'm getting the feeling there's going to be some sort of a dead here, because we've just made it, and this is the last room here. So just tell me, hurry up and tell me what's going on. Well, I was going to dare you to walk the entire length of the tunnel by yourself. What? <laughs> but I was going to stay in this room, the inner temple known as hell. But we just heard screaming behind us coming from there. So now I'm like, you might have the easier challenge than staying in here by yourself. This is literally the deepest, furthest away area from an exit from the freaking cave system. Wait, I'm confused. Am I walking the length of the tunnel by myself or in here? I'm doing, staying in here. You're walking the tunnel. I don't know what's worse. I think that I have it worse if I stay in here. But you know what, guys? Sometimes people are like, you're so mean to Jared. You always make him do the bad stuff. I'm like, I swear I do not. <laughs> this is, let's have a lies vote. Lies or lies. No, no, no. Let's have a vote now. Would you rather walk the entire length of this tunnel system by yourself? Or would you rather stay in here by yourself while the other person leaves you alone after hearing screaming coming from that room known as hell right behind you? Who's got it worse? Let us know in the comments. Also, I'm a freaking chick and I'm going in here. Things tend to happen to women more here because it's like the hellfire was a like oh, a yeah. gentleman's Women secret society club. So that's off-putting. Right. And the women who work here, they freaking hate this area. They don't like to be in here. Well, let's do it then. That's the only reason done. I'm doing this as well is for you guys. So if you've watched this video for this long, make sure you are liking, make sure you're subscribing, <laughs> leave a comment. If not for her, for me, because I've got to walk thanks to this thing on my own in the dark now. <laughs> it's not funny. What's worse? I'm laughing at my own misfortune anyway. Let's get this done. Come on. <laughs> right, Ems. Wish me luck. Good luck. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Enjoy your my little ceremony. satanic ritual ceremony room. Oh, God. How do you feel? I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I said on this trip I'm challenging myself, so I'm just going to hang out in the hell room and... Somebody might want to talk to me in here, please. Doom.
doom. It literally <laughs> said doom. <laughs> Alright, crossing the river sticks. Why do they call it the river sticks for anyway? Is anyone claustrophobic? Because if you are, you would not like parts of this place, that's for sure. I feel like I'm going to hit my head on the roof. Undecided. First word of the session, undecided. You're undecided if you talk to me. <laughs> okay, so guys, Jared has just set off on his little adventure. He has to go through the entire cave system. <laughs> by himself, but he's left me here alone. I am in the inner temple. This is where only the Hellfire members were allowed. God knows what they did in here, or the devil knows. <laughs> a little bit creeped out in here. Undecided, I don't know what that means, but my name is Amy. I would love for you to do a ritual or do something in here. Okay, that's water. I need you to show me that you're here. Couple ways you can do that. Guide. Guide. Is there someone who can guide me around here? Is there anybody following me? Oh, there's mannequins in there. It's oh, creepy. Suki, you wanna come with me for a walk? I'm not here to harm you. Oh my God. I just got really, really, really cold chills here. It is definitely cold down here, but there's just parts of this place, seriously, that just get really cold all of a sudden. I'm well and truly gone for maybe now. I can't see or hear her at all. Somebody there. Come up close to this red light. Ah. Knock. Okay. Can you make a knocking noise like this? Actually, I'm not gonna knock on that. Can you knock three times? Which way should I go, left or right? If anyone can guess which way I'm gonna go, put it in the live chat. See if you're right, so left or right, which way do you think I'm gonna go? Left or right? I'm gonna go right, because you can see an exit sign up there. Who got it right? I'm gonna try and have fun on these little challenges, guys, because he wet oh it's like the legit cave i call on the members of the hellfire club i call on you now show me that you're here give me a sign i did just hear a noise that was not a drip Witch. You think I'm a witch, don't you? Honestly, I get called a witch a lot and I kind of like it. Suki, are you with me? very scary <laughs> so guys on the camera you can see a light up here that's an infrared light from one of the security cameras it's actually pitch black this is what I can see you know the hellfire the hellfire club that was very rich very well to do very important gentlemen wasn't it 
Can you show me how powerful you, you are if you're still around? Or, you know, how powerful you were? Can you do something in here right now that will show me that? Let me make it real easy for you. You just need to go like this. Super easy. I feel like there's someone like behind me all the time, like following me. Is that you, Seeky? Okay, floor is slippery, noted. Honestly, don't tell me that you're scared of me. Are you scared of me, a witch? I've heard that little pebbles get thrown. Can you throw some gravel? Just like that. You can throw a piece at me, I don't care. Just like that. Sure. <laughs> Go on then, throw a bit. Can you throw a bit at me? You need to hit me. So we, it legitimately feels like there's just someone behind me this whole time I've been walking up here. I actually feel warmer now, but I am getting closer to the entrance of the caves where it is a bit warmer. Uh, we've got another fork in the road here, guys. We'll go left this time. I'm inviting you in. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm crazy? Or are you crazy? Did people call you crazy? I know there would have been some wild speculation about the Hellfire Club and what was going on down here back in the day. Am I going the right way? Can you tell me? Someone there. Did you hear that? There's definitely water dripping in here, guys. I swear something was just running up behind me then. How do you feel having a woman down here? Come on, step up to the- Apologize. Apologize? Is that how you feel having a woman down here? You want me to apologize? What happens if I don't apologize? Just here in this tunnel, I'm just feeling like there's someone here, like I keep hearing footsteps. I sort of feel a bit, I'm not gonna say that someone think doesn't want me to proceed, but a little bit scared, you know? Like, maybe that is the spirits, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a scaredy cat. When I said, how do you feel having a woman down here? It says, apologize, almost like I'm doing something wrong being down here, which I guess. Follow me. I'll follow you, but um, I don't know where you are. I don't know. You don't know. <sighs> I've actually got a really bad headache now. It's been getting progressively worse all night. Did it. I made it. Come on down, he's gone. What were you trying to worship down here? What were you trying to summon? Spell. Spell. You want me to cast a spell for you? Okay. I'm casting a spell for you. Look, I've got fire in my hands. Jared? Please tell me that's Jared. I just hear running footsteps. Are you okay? 
Yeah. Crypt Keepers, this has been a massive dream come true. I can't tell you how long this place has been on my bucket list for. Since I've been interested in the paranormal, I've been interested in investigating this place and it means so much to me that I've actually been able to make it here and investigate the Hellfire Caves, one of the most haunted places in England. It is a massive deal to me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the uh, investigation and the journey, the adventure as well. It, um, for a moment there, I didn't think that this was gonna happen because as soon as we got to London, Jared and I got very sick with uh, COVID. So we had to lock down, we had to cancel and move a bunch of investigations, but this one worked with us pretty nicely and uh, they were able to reschedule us in. So tonight almost didn't happen, but we made it. It was meant to be. <laughs> so I just wanna say a big thank you to the Hellfire Caves for working with us on that one. But. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe because that really helps us out. If you wanna do any more reading on this place, head to amyscrypt.com. We also post um, things to social media. So if you're interested in following us and our journey, uh, follow us at Amy's Crypt on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And we post bonus content on my Patreon and my YouTube members, which we just filmed for in the Inner Temple bonus ghost tube session, which is kind of interesting actually. So there'll be links for that below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.